Hi, welcome in my studio. My name is Sylvia Krupinska and I'm organic sculptor and painter. Um, I'm surrounded by my work which is uh, inspired by the sea, by the textures, by the nature itself. And more currently, uh, I've been thinking about the relationships that humans and the nature have between and how this humans spend time in the nature and also I've been taking my work, my sculptures um, in nature for example I would take uh, a piece and I would set it um, in the sand and I would uh, put seaweed around it um, just for illustration and that would be a final dot behind in making basically that would be kind of um, I was exchange of the inner energy by the nature in my sculpture and my sculpture at that point uh, will be finished. Um, as you can see I've got uh, lots of texture and colour um, in my studio um, which is something that uh, inspires me. I really need that sort of the texture to play with. Um, I don't, I, have, I should say, I don't copy the textures of nature. I try to make my own by developing different uh, techniques that uh, I experiment with, like casting grapes in plaster. Uh, uh, that one was made uh, by casting um, plasticine balls in plaster, which was one of the first pieces of the series. I just currently, f well, I finished, uh, and I'm trying to get away from to make new work. Um, and the new work, uh, I can show you. I've got these abalone shells. My studio now is sort of covered in my abalone shells, and uh, I'm trying to just sort of talk to them and, and, and listen to them. I really study them um, because it's quite difficult um, for me, in fact, because they're so beautiful as they are. But I've taken on this challenge because uh, I know I could use them. Uh, in a, in a way to make a piece or a series of sculptures. It's not, it's not resolved yet, so it's a bit of a um, ping-pong match between abalone shells and me, but uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting this sorted and I can't wait to show you uh, more work once it's finished. Um, my work kind of... Well, I'm not quite sure what to say now. Perhaps uh, you should, uh, maybe you can have a look at these sort of hanging pieces I have here. Um, what matters to me is how work is in, uh, displayed and uh, put together. Sometimes they are in frame, sometimes they are in sand. Uh, and it's just, just, just by doing this, kind of, that makes me feel... Uh, like I'm slowly, step by step, getting somewhere. Uh, and uh, if you uh, come back to my studio one day, you might myself, you might find myself with my face down this sand. I've been just doing some uh, self portraits the other day, kind of printed my face in the sand. I will not demonstrate now because uh, my face will be sort of covered with, uh, with the sand but it's, I don't know, should I demonstrate? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I mustn't breathe in when I'm doing it. So uh, hopefully you won't stick to makeup too much. Okay, ready, steady, go. If we put some light next to it, you'll probably see a not very good print of my face, but it's like a koala now. Yeah. <laughs> it works with a, better with different light, lighting, and it depends on where the shadow goes, you can see the little print. I don't know if it's visible on your... Mm -hmm. oh, excellent, okay. So, there it is, yes. I could, can't believe I just did that for you, but... Uh, this is what happens in my studio on a daily basis and uh, now a little bit less glamorous <laughs> with sand on my face I'll say goodbye and I hope I'll talk to you uh, soon and do uh, pop by if you have time. Thanks.